<laughs> so I am extremely excited to talk with Sophia Biloka, Dr. Sophia Biloka, who had been my client for a long time. I think since 2018, right? And we're in 22 now. So it's been a yes. long journey. And of course, we're going to discuss everything and the highlights. But uh, I would love, first of all, to acknowledge Sophia, who is absolutely amazing. I, she is my inspiration for many of my programs that I literally had to create for her <laughs> because she is so advanced and she was just flying so high and so fast. I had to start thinking, what next can I offer to her? So a lot of the programs that you guys are now seeing uh she is responsible <laughs> she is the yeah. inspiration behind it and uh, it's been my honor i love working with people who inspire me who are just uh, getting amazing results with my work and therefore i want to celebrate you today and say a huge thank you to you for you know having trust in me and uh, i'm sure our journey is not completed and we're gonna work after you take your beautiful break for your personal lovely lovely things that are happening right now <laughs> so tell us about yourself what do you do and um and then we'll go how we met and how it's all started yes. thank you very much for all your uh... Uh, the introduction and your excitement. Uh, so uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm Greek, and uh, well, but I'm living around the, around the world. Currently, I'm living I'm living in Brussels. I'm an elite performance uh, coach and mentor, and I'm the founder of uh, the Elite Performers Institute for Global Leaders. I love working with. Uh, uh, women or men who have urgency to break their golden records and uh, they want to be record men or record women in their domain. Either it's in elite sports, in elite performance in their business or in an elite level in their life. And um, I'm also European Commissioner for a Paralympic Sport, the one of uh, wheelchair rugby. And I love working with uh, Olympians as well and Paralympians. This has been um, a path that I have been volunteer also my time since 2002 and my energy and uh, thanks also to my to my volunteer participation in Paralympic uh, uh, wheelchair rugby and uh, my research academic background. I have uh, had the opportunities to to work to, and to travel around uh, the globe, having worked with uh, over 50 different uh, cultures and uh, nationalities. So one of my targets is really to work at least with one uh, nationality from the, all the globe. I love working with multicultural and multilingual uh, people. And that's why, because I love communication, I speak also a lot of languages, eight languages. And um, I am uh, dedicated in uh, bringing people into their own inner truth and resolve the mystery that uh, they need to break through for their metamorphosis in their lives. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely amazing. And I know that you're doing absolutely incredible work for your clients and for your academy. So let's get into beginning. So when we met, uh, yeah. and of course, we've done so many testimonials already, <laughs> but this is just another one. <laughs> And at the beginning, remind um, remind everybody how it happened. How did we? How did you come across me? And what possessed you, if you want, to come into my program? Yes. So it was uh, beginning of 2018. Already from 2017, uh, I had started to uh, investigate for me the possibilities to get my business online. So I had a very successful business, physically based, as um, uh, after my PhD as exercise physiologist and, uh, uh, and a holistic high performance coach. I had a very successful business with one-to-one -one clients uh, where it, uh, it was my base, first um, in Brussels, then in London, then in Athens, 
Then I went to Milan, then I came back to Brazil. So I was very successful to, to have a, a full practice in the physical communication and contact. However, I, I start seeing that a lot of people were expanding online and they were having a larger impact with, uh, uh, with, with clients, international clients. And as I mentioned, I love working with international clients and um, having that impact also in other countries. Therefore, I start investigating how can I do it also myself. And um, I, I met you through uh, the Facebook social uh, platform where I saw you, uh, I, I watched an interview of yours where you emphasized how important it was uh, to heal in order to expand your business. And although I was, um, uh, I was already in a, a coaching container already, and I was also looking for some other coaches, uh, the fact that you talked about this healing and the fact that you had also the psychological uh, background as well, along with the business, resonated a lot uh, with me tremendously. So therefore, it was when uh, I contacted you and um, although for me, uh, that period, uh, four, um, four or even five figure investments were like, uh, uh, never have done that before. I, uh, when I spoke with you, my body felt like a, a clear yes. I didn't have to really have another call with you um, so I trusted my my intuition and our contact together. And uh, it was magical also how the whole uh, investment was manifested in such a short time so that I can uh, make the investment myself, but also how I got my investment back by also um, uh, booking and uh, closing uh, other clients in higher packages that uh, I was just planning and implementing with you right on the spot already from the first week. So this was already uh, how I got uh, uh, invested and how I really like uh, took the risk without really hesitation and uh, got in the so long also collaboration with you. I know, isn't it amazing? I think the whole thing was magical in the sense that how you step up and for yourself, you had, I remember yeah. you told me the story of how you've written down your intention. You wanted yeah. to, to become a healer. You wanted to learn and you wanted, you were just to basically put it out there. I need this. And uh, this is how we actually, there was another kind of magical story behind it. And of course, what I love about you, that that kind of attitude, you, for four years, we've been together. It's all, you've been doing it consistently. You were always playing full in. And that is just a perfect combination. When you have that intuition, when you trust your instincts, you know what to do. You have your strategies and you implement, and then you get your results. And then you get more faith, more trust which is exactly how i personally work because i think faith is a huge part of how we create results yeah, we need to see evidence and you know if we if we're just waiting of course this is then when we work with sabotaging patterns and this is why mm -hmm. i talk about healing so right now i would love to go into all sorts of aspects of healing that we had done or you've seen me done with other people of course in our container and what were your highlights? So my questions would be about emotional, mental shifts, physical shifts, and spiritual shifts that had happened for you. I'm very curious just for myself, because, uh, of course, I've been seeing it and observing it and, uh, you know, facilitating it. But it's good to look back and kind of see what were the highlights, what were the most important sort of triggers that you had to work with and mm -hmm. the breakthroughs that happened after that so please share with us like you can begin with any of those aspects whether 
emotional was the mental i think they were all of the, all of those in, <laughs> were included yeah but just go with what you feel is the most important so i remember that uh, one of the first one was to was to dare to own my worth and to realize that um um my worth had nothing to, my, my value had nothing to do with my self-worth i had already a very a high cv with a lot of certificates a lot of education uh two masters phd education around the world certificates uh, apart the standard academic a lot of scientific publications um so it was uh, it was a cv that had a lot of uh, value like uh, i was planning to get on an academic career and uh, this uh, scientific uh, path and um however i couldn't yet see that uh, i could uh, value and prize myself in uh, packages of five figure investments uh, and, and to ask about this kind of uh, prices and to own it so the first thing that um, really i broke through when i started with you for the, already from the first month if you remember was to own that high price because um, of the results that i was uh, uh, delivering to the people because i was delivering the results but i was um, uh, keeping myself small and also pricing myself very uh, very cheap which was uh, something that i have never before learned in my life although i had this long academic uh, career unfortunately we are not taught how to value ourselves like that and uh, <clears throat> And also, it was uh, the healing to my uh, autoimmune pathology that I had since I was 70 years old, which was really like a, a, a physical awakening. And uh, once I stepped into the healing path, I realized a lot of a lot of breakthroughs about how this autoimmune uh, pathology uh, arrived. And what was the reason about that? how it really serves me and benefits me as well as a guidance in my path. And, um, and also heal from other, uh, for example, sexual abuse that I had from uh, professors in the academic world and to see what was really the value about me uh, and for me there and to dare to open up and speak about that as well. Uh, then at a later stage, at the next stage, was really to create uh, the academy and to get also in an institute creation about high performance. Uh, and of course, to, to have other breakthroughs with uh, great clients and to also create a six-figure year. It was in 2019. Uh, that I invested in, uh, that I I created uh, a six-figure year, and later in 2020, a six-figure sale, which was uh, amazing for me to see that financial part coming, because I've never done financial studies. I've been always into health and into rehabilitation, to Olympic sports. So as an athlete myself as well, uh, I saw how low we are programmed to charge ourselves and to leave the finance for other circles that uh, it's not reality, that we don't deserve it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Amazing, it's true, it's true. It's uh, interesting to hear as well because often we, um, when we come into a business program, right, or, or a certification program, you've done all of my programs, so you've yeah. done... Uh, skills studies and you've done business studies and, um, and uh, you know inf influence studies everything and 
But it all begins with that self-worth, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I wish we didn't have to look into it and it would have been just natural for us to just understand pricing, understand our value. But unfortunately, it, uh, we are, you know, so oppressed culturally already. So it's like, it's a big deal for us to just wake up, wake up, just shed it all off and actually heal and go into it and just do that process. I'm myself, I feel like I'm very formal about uh, processing um, stuff like that, because it's just a matter of sitting with it, having that permission, you know, and also yeah, having role me. models, of course, <laughs> because honestly, I think for myself as well, for all of my clients, it's uh, once you started investing at that level, you understand, oh, okay, this is what I do. Why wouldn't anybody else do it? Of course, of course, because it's worth it, right? You investing in yourself. And, and I think uh, I remember that exercise you did uh, with a 100K offer, sell it to yourself. <laughs> that was remarkable. Indeed. And I, and I yeah. think that is one of those exercises when you just understand how amazing you are. And yes, there's some grief and regret and almost some, uh, you know, extra therapy session that needs to happen for you to just Oh my gosh, what had I, what have I been doing for all of these years <laughs> to myself and why? Yeah. So you get to understand it and let it go and forgive yourself and forgive everybody and just move on into a completely different way of operating. So I'm glad you mentioned that. And of course, yeah, there's a lot of side effects to it, including uh, the health uh, improvements. Mm -hmm. So many, you've witnessed probably so many people quitting addictions just spontaneously and just starting taking care of themselves, losing weight, all sorts of things that are just, you would think, how does that happen on a business program? But it does because, you know, once you realized your and owned your self-worth, a of lot course. of things start changing. Yeah. So tell me, I'm interested uh, for people to know about um, how, you know, I have several different systems and methodologies that I had taught you, but also you had experienced on yourself. Some of it, you know, big, the white shadow work, I would say one of those uh, big ones, uh, meta models, this is, yeah. was one of the latest ones, you know, compassionate God, muse mother, those are just right now for the past year, healing abuse, abandonment, all of those issues. And the one I wanted to ask you about was uh, the spiritual gifts, Yes. Hierarchy. How was that for you? How did you feel your own spiritual gifts started showing up? Because I know that uh, because of for such a long time we've been working together, I could see you progress. How you establish, go from practical to emotional to using willpower to going into your uh, heart chakras and, and, and unconditional love and, and influence. Big thing for you was right. Influence a lot of clients I work yeah. with have have to open that throat chakra and of course the psychic gifts and the leadership right so um tell me about that how was the experience for you especially going through the you know th this kind of shift i think was one of your biggest ones from coming to influencer and then coming to your own psychic abilities so yeah, that was again like a, a, a great exploration field because, um, okay, first of all, I was really open to discover that and I really felt that I was um, uh, like everyone, I believe, who is, every, everyone is a healer and everyone has a spiritual path. So it doesn't matter, I believe, like uh, even if you are dedicated to a family value, or you want to become a, a, a mother, it's also a spiritual path. It doesn't have to be something uh, entitled or boxed in only spiritual. As we perceive it as a new age terminology, I don't like to put boxes and limitations. Uh, therefore, again, it was a path to, to own this and to discover how it was, it has been there for all the time. But because it was so natural for me to, to, to do it and to practice and to give it no matter where I was. 
and no matter the, 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 the job that I was doing at, at the period, uh, or no matter what circles I was, or other professional or social, to really see that it was so natural for me to, uh, to have the impact, to have the influence, to, to help people having breakthroughs, and to realize that, oh, this is my spiritual gift, really. And to own my voice and, uh, and help also other people own their own message and their own voice to create breakthroughs with their own uh, gifts. So it has been some challenges in order to uh, really like, uh, you know, own the throne because I believe that um, we are so programmed to, to play a game or copy paste other people, how they do other people business or how other people do life but um every one of us has a really specific uh, gift and spiritual identity that is uh unreplaceable from other people and it's coming so natural to each one of us that is really unbelievable to believe that will i charge so much and my value is so high just by doing this but uh, it's Really, life life can be much easier than what we perceive, and it was really like a, a shift of perception also for me to give to 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 combine with that um, gift as uh, with this spiritual gift as well. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing, and I think uh, coming from academic background, I think this is something yeah, we all separate. We think well. I have to use my uh, the, the whatever I've learned in my textbook, right? And then suddenly there is an invitation for you to be so trusting in your own gift and in yourself. And that intuition that leads you in the first place into really remarkable places outside, outside of whatever you could imagine with your brain, right? So... I think that is one of those things as well. And of course, it reminds me of, you know, in, um, I think something that was happening in our container is a lot of kind of new ideas coming in, right? It's, uh, yes. it's being able to channel, being able to go with something that is outlandish for other people, innovative. I really encourage people to think for themselves, be innovative. Don't just, you know, what is it? comply with status quo with whatever yeah. is, uh, system has to offer you go you create because you are the leader and you are the pioneer of this world it's it's just a, and of your industry right of your niche and i think this is in a way we're coming slowly to marketing and sales this is the secret in a way to position yourself above competition and to be um, you know of such value and of such worth to people as well, right? Because the fees are coming from often from positioning that you exactly inspire, and uh, definitely innovative uh, thinking will you know get you there. You published a book on the program, yes, of course, right? of course. So many things to mention. I know so many things. Our work. But that was one of the uh, maybe representations of really exploring and understanding completely your own methodology. Yeah, and of course showing up as somebody who has original method to create that elite high performance for your own clients and your own audience. So I want to celebrate you for that because it's a big deal to be able to make your stand in the world, right? And that's what you've done. Indeed. And of course, then Academy and all of those other big exposures happen from there. They happen because of people understand where they landing what's what's going to happen to them that is exactly. yeah so awesome awesome so um yes another thing i wanted to ask you and i think we started working on it super early on it often happens because i feel like that is the root of many kind of issues that could be healed very quickly and move that business forward mm -hmm. mommy and daddy issues right yeah. <laughs> so and I know you had, from the start, you started having those big breakthroughs. I don't yeah. know if you guys can hear the rain. I have this huge storm right now outside in my window in Hawaii. Oh, wow. 
it's really loud. Okay, awesome. So tell us about um, some of the kind of interesting uh, realizations and breakthroughs you had through actually healing your mommy and daddy issues. Um, and what did it do for you? Exactly. So my my main one of the, the greatest uh, breakthroughs and healings that I had uh, with you was um, to to heal my mother wound. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to emphasize that I didn't have like a abusive mother or anything. So it was not something that was really. Uh, uh, triggering uh, my my life or my existence. However, as a child, the perceptions that I had from my mother, uh, from my mother's attitude, was enough to block me to some uh, points of my business, uh, of my life actually, professionally, and um, and see also how this blocked me, but also how it also benefited me. Uh, as well and um, sometimes we think that if we have big problems we have to resolve them and we really cannot see even like uh, you know like uh, the little things that there might be and maybe logically you make as you grow up the conclusion that you you, you give a log the logical explanation however your inner child or your shadow still keep the count and uh, and um, subconsciously, this can um, uh, can show up into uh, areas of your life that you think because we haven't been taught like that have nothing to do. Like, uh, what? Uh, how is my professional life blocked from my, for example, uh, little memories that uh, my inner child had from? Uh, some moments of my mother uh, conflict, for example. So we don't, we are not really taught again to see all these connections, but um, uh, it was amazing to see how this healing of abandonment that uh, I had perceived as a child uh, was uh, really blocking my visibility and uh, my, 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 my throat and my impact. To, to the crowds, especially to unknown crowds. So I remember it was July 2018 that it was an amazing breakthrough that he offered us a healing and it was the healing of abandonment, which um, I hadn't realized that I, I, I even, um, I was even counting on that. I was even like having something behind that. And literally within hours, uh, my visibility skyrocketed and I went on social media publicly doing um, Facebook lives, speaking, public speaking. And, um, and although I had the training of public speaking, but uh, after doing this healing, I could go out there without any shame, guilt, without any attachment and uh, start speaking about who I am, what I'm doing, what impact I have. Um, and it was amazing how many people were, were responding. And um, the clients that I also uh, booked and engaged after that. And how also people perceived me. Like, uh, you know, Sophia is an influencer. She's a self-made entrepreneur. And, uh, and a businesswoman and a lot of um, even friends that I had for many years that they start seeing another uh, side of me, but also like how I could uh, speak and uh, engage also like uh, celebrity coaches and mentors who were in my network and start seeing me and because I was getting more visible in action and in my perception about how I could uh, I could help them yeah so that was a great one uh, healing my uh, my mother wound 
and uh, also discovering um, about myself how um, uh, uh, what uh, what a gift I have, like a spiritual gift, in order to help people heal their also father wound. Mm-hmm. Um, and this comes from many many, many sources, but um, also realizing that around my life I have a lot of people who are either wound with a father or fatherless, and how important this is when uh, when you want to go higher and perform how important is this uh, father wound as well. So, and how, of course, subconsciously, we we are blocked with these kind of authorities and we repeat them also in our other life, professional life, our daddy and mommy uh, issues, and we really ignore that. I know, I know. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, according to my system, father is responsible <clears throat> responsible for your drive yeah and your, mo- oh, your mom but like, it's not really mom or dad actually it depends it's a parent of the opposite sex because if it's yeah. if you're a man then it's your mom who is responsible for your drive and then the parent of the same sex is the one who's responsible for your habits is for your addictions for your patterns and this is why it's not about oh, I had this huge trauma or some kind of horrible abandonment or neglect from your mom that could you have to heal. You actually have to look much deeper. It's not about those big traumas. It's about yeah. what you had experienced your whole life and what you're trying to break through and free from. And I think this is what uh, often we uh, overlook because if we think, well, I didn't really have, I'm, I'm okay. I had a good family. I'm coming from a good background. You'd think, what's the problem but actually yeah. if you want to operate different way for example if you want to charge six figures work just a few hours per month you have to really rethink how you're going to do this and guess what if you're a woman your mom had created that sort of subconscious pattern for you and that need that addiction to for example to hustle to work hard to exhaust yourself to sacrifice yourself for example i mean as a lot of my clients myself had had to really look into that right without being working on some horrible traumas it's about really actually understanding what does it affect and knowing that yes you do need to heal that it's it's necessary if you want to work a different way and for fathers of course right it's a big deal and what you're doing for men is you know same thing you're working on the father issues <clears throat> which is the they drive they how are they how are they going to are they allowed to go higher are they allowed to get that gold right that gold medal so it's big big deal yes. so it's not so much about some horrible traumas it's about really knowing how your energy works and how your patterns work right so great right i love it yes and yeah i remember you started working with celebrity clients and really it's kind of launched you as a very specific kind of coach right it wasn't you completely kind of elevated your work and um, similar what I'm saying that our clients need to inspire us. Exactly. You see, it's not, if you're working with certain clientele for a long time, you can get stuck there. It can get, just let's say it, it can get boring. (laughs) It can get really sort of, um, you know, it will stop at some point inspiring you. So you need to aim higher. You need to work for um, with more interesting clients. And I think working with celebrities, it wasn't just that they're celebrities, but they were transformational leaders. They were healers. They were coaches yeah. themselves. So it's very interesting to work with somebody who is like yourself. For me, it's very interesting. I work only with very, very high level coaches uh, high level therapists or high level um, artists so because what we want to do is we want to build on top of that we want to go deeper than whatever the work they've done over decades of their own experience so i'm interested in that and you started doing that as well suddenly you're working with clientele that is very advanced already very successful it's not about getting somebody from the ground it's about really getting people uh big big breakthroughs that are typically in your case i think are 
connected with their lifestyle a lot, right? So they're not kind of killing themselves in the process, right? So I love this. All right. So, okay. And um, first of all, I, I want to acknowledge you. Thank you so much. I, I hear your voice because you just had a, you know, you had a yeah. problem. I, had COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I remember myself when I had COVID after that, it was like the voice was not coming back for a long time. So thank you so much for, you know, I, I will just have ask a final question. And, uh, and of course, beautiful baby is coming. And that is also a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, kind of um, manifestation, manifestation of, of course. allowing yourself. Just I am going to be the mother. I'm going to be a different mother. I'm going to be the one that I manifest, that I envisioned. I think it's a big deal as well, especially for high performers, right? It's for yes. people. Yeah, because, uh, you know, when we are very work driven and purpose driven is it, it is actually what it takes it takes healing to get yourself to um that kind of both sides of you being activated right so and i think you worked on that as well so my final question is so if somebody is right now uh, checking me out and trying to come into the program whether it is a group container or vip container you've done all of my all programs. So you've been a yes. VIP client, you've been a, in the, in my uh, school and certifications and founders lounge programs. So what would you recommend them? What would you um, tell them how if they are hesitant or if they thinking, you know, people have all sorts of fears, I think, around coming in and really stepping into the power. I think that's what's going to happen, right? You would have to go do the work, but you will be flying high and sometimes that could be scary what can you recommend them well i recommend them to to have the trust into their intuition and the fact that no one comes and cross their path by by accident but they are ready to meet uh, the mentor uh lira and uh, therefore um of course i want to emphasize how important it is to take the action and to have the urgency about the shift and the change. Um, hesitation is um, really like a, a sabotage, procrastination, I believe, because um, actually I have been, uh, uh, I have been, when I follow you, you had uh, really uh, a holistic perspective of also what I wanted as well to, to create. I mean, listening to your own life story and making it through your uh, own personal story with uh, your three kids and your first husband and how you overcame that. And you being an artist and being also a psychologist and a healer and then giving yourself permission to go higher as a life coach and a business coach and uh, seeing your, your your expansion uh, living around the world, which I also uh, adore doing, and see you how you were also ex expanding in your business and in your life. So for me, it was it, uh, you were like a, a role model, and uh, I believe that we need to we need to follow and to and, and to to have to be led and to be inspired not just motivated but i believe in inspiration and transformation by our role models yeah because it can be very easily to lose our way and uh, many people might decide to do it on their own but uh it gets very difficult and it gets very slow <laughs> so <laughs> Um, we, we really want to get, uh, that urgency and to make a, to get that shift and that action. So hesitation is, uh, non-existent actually, I believe they should get on the call with you and, uh, you have many options and possibilities for people to work with you and, uh, you can make and accommodate. I mean, of course, I know that you are very selective and you assess the prospects that you work with because you also have your own requirements and your own standards as a high level uh, mentor and coach. So um, 
I, I do believe that they should uh, get into this next step and make and create this breakthrough for themselves. Because you can really, you can really metamorphose, create the metamorphosis for their life. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, guys. Yes. So yes. yes, it's true. You have to go through a um, sort of a admissions interview process and see which program you will uh, will be the best fit for you. Um, and if you're resonating with Sophia and how she is and and what kind of attitude she's got, you you want to estimate. Do I have the same drive? Do I have the same ambition? Do I have the same integrity? Because I think one of your biggest um, sort of remarkable uh, qualities that got you to be so amazing and have such amazing progress in uh, on all of the programs was your integrity. You really do what you say. And it just shows yeah. because, uh, yes, this is the attitude I you know, apply to myself. I apply to everybody. This is just what, what we have. We have high standards <laughs> and we're raising the bar even higher and higher until we, because the results, because I feel one of my gifts. Vision to that higher dream. Sometimes you're not aware of what is it that is out there for you. I'm aware because that's my gift to see. Yeah. I just, I can see. I'm just going to say that. As well. Yeah. And, um, and that's where we're going. So if you're ready for that, yes, then guys come in. I would be very happy to meet you and speak with you. And thank you so yeah, much. Yeah. And the other thing that I appreciate so much working with you was that um, uh, you could see me where I could not see myself. And you were treating me and um, coaching me. And speaking to me like uh, uh, to the level where I am supposed to be and you could see me and not where I wanted to, to maybe sometimes stay or say my story or uh, my emotional <laughs> charge. But um, you would speak from already from that point where you could uh, spiritually and from your experience and from your gift. Uh, see me and, and the other people of the group, of course. And I believe that this is a very, very important uh, way of, of, of coaching, coaching and mentoring. That's right. Yeah. I think our last uh, latest uh, sessions were all about a quarter of a million dollar programs, right? Yeah. <laughs> so sales, we, that's what we're plotting there. And just, uh, you know, just uh, we, we're giving time to baby of course i always believe that babies come and they need the time they need <laughs> the soul comes for you know they have a big big quest for you right so they are they are requiring you to be there for them um and i believe in in a balanced life that is happy all together not just in one area so uh but yes but that's where you where we left off and this is where we're gonna start again and that's where we're going to go. Yeah. I think, uh, you know, world domination, right? <laughs> exactly. because, uh, because of your methodology, because of what you have to offer is big. And this is what I see. You're going real big places. And I am uh, uh, just honored and happy to have been on your path. And of course, going forward, being there as well. And just witnessing your amazing work and growth. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for uh, daring to go out there and uh, daring also to to to, to give us this uh, this this boost, this healing, and to reveal yourself and your gifts, and also for our own sake as well. Thank you very much.